So Mr. Beast has upset all the communists. Um, <laughs> I'm really liking it, so I thought we'd just enjoy this. Communists upset? I've never heard about that. Yeah, for people who don't know, I don't know why you wouldn't, it's huge at this point, but Mr. Beast, he does wonderful videos where he like just gives away loads of money, usually. Wow, 131 million subscribers. Yeah, I mean, there's um, it's it's a real funny thing. This this video here being a thousand blind people see for the first time, and it's him paying for surgery for a thousand people who have, uh, I can't remember what the word is, but basically like the pupils covered in this cloudy substance, so you have to suck that out with a tiny vacuum. Cataracts. I think it's cataracts. I don't know. And then Something you have like to, that. then you have to put in an artificial cover so it doesn't just come mm -hmm. back, and uh, it's an expensive surgery. So he pays for a thousand people to have it, and he doesn't just pay for Americans, even though he's American. He travels in the video to Honduras, Indonesia, and a few other places around the world. Doing it for people who mm -hmm. definitely can't afford it, and when Americans who can't afford it. Even if he's doing this for clicks or clout, I still very much agree that this is a good thing. Like, no matter the but, motivation. Well, for the, who cares if he's doing it for clicks or clout? I know. Well, he at the end of the day, the blind people won't care why he's doing it because they can now see. So but, that's but, the more important but, thing. I but think. this is actually a, to, to assess this situation. I've seen no one do it for some goddamn reason. Is to assess the economics of what's really happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Beast is converting. He, Mr. Beast doesn't have any money. Okay, Mr. Beast gets his money from YouTube and donations or whatever, right? His, his burger sales, but let's take his YouTube channel. He gets his money from ad revenue, and that ad revenue comes from plebs like us staring at our screens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's managed to turn my useless time staring at my screen into curing someone's blindness. That is what he has done. Mm -hmm. He's transferred my nonsense time into curing blindness, like Jesus over here. <laughs> okay? You stare, at, you stare at a screen and you cure <laughs> blindness. Yeah, literally. I mean, what do you think? I was we're always doing? told what? it was the other way around. You get square eyes. I waste so much time on YouTube, uh, not just YouTube Shorts. I, I waste so much time just watching. Crap. I mean, we're on it right now. Uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> this guy over here is is curing the blind with my mindless drivel that I, I leave on while I'm playing Hoi Four. I watch some crap. <laughs> I just I'm, I'm beating myself up over it because I need to stop. Anyway, well, I mean, we are in in the business of it. It, it is kind of important to know. What's I going don't. On. I don't watch stuff as good as us. I watch absolute <laughs> garbage. So, <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. So uh, I mean, you are patting yourself on the back as well, but still, the, the YouTube channel. I love him. I, it, it is kind of trash, but it's good trash. Uh, Bub mm -hmm. Games. He literally just bullies children on Gmod servers. <laughs> Rightfully so. I mean, it's good work. The Lord's work. But, you know, it is just trash. <laughs> I tend to lean more towards the educational stuff, so I actually feel like I get stuff out of it. But then... The Bob Games is up there for me. I watch some other crap. You learn lots of ways to bully children, and that is a noble course, if ever I heard one. Anyway, let's scroll down just so that I think the views are, like, I think it was 50 million? Don't know what it is now. It must be, I don't know, 74 million views. There's a lot of money in ad revenue alone to wow. cure blindness. So, well, 4chan decided that this proved that he was the Antichrist. Reasonable. Was it 4chan and not Reddit? No, no, they, they went with the Antichrist for, for biblical reasons. However, they're not the only ones who are peeved. The real people who are peeved if it's uh, leftists who, who can't stand it. So we're gonna How dare you help people? This, this ruins my ideological designs. You've got Lolo over here who says, uh, there is something so demonic about this and I cannot even articulate what it is. Oh, is it, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> What's the point? When people use their money to help other people, for some reason, leftists are just like, no, I hate it. It's terrible. This this response from a guy was, Mr. Beast ends world hunger. Twitter, yeah, but you're just doing it for views. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You've cured cancer? Yeah, well, you were just doing it for clout, weren't you, scientist? Yeah, old MacDonald, he has a farm, but he only does it for money. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Yes. <laughs> Literally feed you every day, but he only does it for money. Everyone only does anything for money. I, I actually hate this narrative. Is like, especially, it happens a lot with YouTube. But I mean, there are other occasional things where it's really dumb, where it's, it's just like, man, ruins someone's life for money. Like, okay, that's, that's abuse. But a person makes video about thing, and someone's always like, you know, they're only doing this for money. It's, but the, why, is a, why is a mercenary going to work? The, the, the thing is, as well, <laughs> that... All altruism in some way relates to self-interest, right? Uh, because if yeah, you're if I you're rant. being yeah, if you're being perfectly altruistic, like the most altruistic you can possibly be, you're harming yourself because you're giving away stuff to people just randomly, like you're throwing away cash on the street, but then you're destitute. That's you're a person, and you're still worthy of looking after yourself as well. It's a whole other conversation, but uh, we we'll go to the the next thing because the most delusional take was uh, collected by delusional takes, which is that, um, well, it's the idea that someone will be with a disability needs to be cured. Hammered sickle. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure the blind people want to be cured. I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do they need to be cured? 
you know, what are you, disabled phobic? <laughs> Anyway, well, I'd, conversation. I'd, rather, I'd rather disabled people not have their disability so they can lead a healthy and normal life. There's Bob on the barrel retardation, though. So we'll, mm -hmm. we'll go to a slightly higher retardation of Hassan Piker. <laughs> who, uh, not, not much further. Yeah, he's saying here, multimillionaire as he is, uh, never done such a thing as such as curing the blind with his money. Instead, he brought a mansion and a Porsche. So we'll uh, we'll watch his gripe with the whole thing. Let's, let's play that. Uh, do we have to? <laughs> Like, you watch this video you go oh how how cute and how nice i watch the video and i'm filled with rage that <laughs> what's like, wrong with you that we yeah, shut off wrong? access to a 10 minute procedure because we paywalled it and decided that like some people just simply can't get it it is so insanely frustrating That's that it true. like it, it's up to like one youtube guy to like decide to make content out of it that like is that people who are too poor can't just fucking see that's insane anyway sorry it's just like a deeply deeply frustrating concept you pay for my surgery yes <laughs> the dumbest thing i have ever heard mm -hmm. so he's making it a point about the fact that healthcare is not free healthcare costs money therefore bad yeah i am born blind why would the healthcare system do this to me mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> I, we we have state healthcare here and i Believe me, getting well, no, on some sort of waiting list to get surgery. I'm not, I'm not even going to get in a goddamn stupid debate about the no. NHS versus the Americans. It's stupid, stupid. Not going to waste my time with it. Because the whole fundamental argument he's making is, why is healthcare just not free? And it isn't. It isn't free in the NHS either. Government pays for it by stealing yeah. taxes. <laughs> Very true. It's just, it's just dumb. It's just like, why are my glasses not free? Because a guy had to make them? He's not going to do that for free. You idiot. I am so <laughs> sick of this BS where it's just like... What you mean, a uh, a Marxist doesn't understand basic economics? Yeah, I mean that's the me surprised. Fundamental retardation with this clip, and the other aspect of like, I don't know, pick a pick a thing that's not cured. I don't know. Cancer. Cancer. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. In which case, you turn around and be like, well, why is that not cured? It's capitalism. Goddamn obviously. capitalists! <laughs> stop. Just stop for five minutes. I, I think that uh, Andrew Tate's actually spoken about this, where he talks about there's medicine and then there's poor people medicine, and he is right. Because if you want something cured, for example, he gives the example of, uh, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's like uh, if you get uh, testicle cancer or something like that, I don't remember. And there's the version where you get chemo, mm -hmm. right? And uh, they throw a whole bunch of drugs at you and uh, hopefully it kills the cancer. If you're a rich person, like a really rich person, no, 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 no. What they do is they take a sample, they send it off some lab, some guys experiment on it with every drug under the sun to find out which chemical works best to form for your specific cancer. And then eventually they pick that one. And that's a much faster system than our chemo surface in the NHS anyway. And then they come back and they treat it specifically and it's way, way better for the obvious reason. Well, yeah, it's precise. It's not just blasting you through with radiation, is yeah. it? Yeah, and Hassan's over there like, why is that not free? What, what do you think? It takes like a million people's labor. Yeah, it's, it's far more intensive, far more costly. There costing. are limited resources and generally speaking, money is the best way of allocating limited resources, which should be on about page one of every economics textbook ever. Yeah, and I just I can't get over his chat. It's just like, it's so true. And it's just stupid, stupid on every point. But regardless of Marxist stupidity, well, Marxist is stupid. I'm not going to waste my time on that. But we'll go to um, the next one because Carl made the point. Uh, he said semi-jokingly. He retweeted that and was just like, well, Hassan's only mad because he has all that money and he's never done anything for anyone. And Carl's right. Obviously, <laughs> apparently Carl was ha half having a joke, but Hassan's mm. fans couldn't take that. And uh, Sean over here, actual Justice Warrior, pointed out something amazing, which is that years later they're still going with the he had to spend that much on a house argument for Hassan Piker over here and the 200k Porsche, of course. If we click on the the images here, we can see Kurt over there, lovely guy. And he's pointing out, was like, well, how many blind people could he have cured for 2.7 million? Remember, his house was 2.7 million. And they're like, that's how much it costs to live in LA. Yeah, but... No, no, no. No, what, the, no, 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 no. The no, no, housing no. projects <laughs> and his mansion are just equivalent, are they? Go to the next image there. Average American home. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Every American has to live... This is the minimum standard. Mm. In fact, if you, if you don't have two separate pools in your swimming pool in the backyard, I think the average American, it's a genetic thing, they die. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a mandatory minimum. Of 2.7 million per household. Americans are a bit like frogs, and they need to be close <laughs> to water at all times. But for YouTube's hate speech policy, in case you're that dumb, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, I've had videos taken down for the dumbest reasons. So <laughs> oh. I've got to play. Yeah, well, 
Todd Would someone Wrangler. really believe that? I, I, I made a joke once. It was a joke video taking the piss out of the Germans, and they were like, that's mm-hmm. hate speech. You want to kill all the Germans? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mocking the Germans is a, an admirable tradition in Britain. Yeah, and then the Porsche over there, which he... Um, I don't know how many blind people I could have cured if he just brought, if he decided to buy a Volvo. Still could have gotten around, my friend. You would have been fine driving here, there, and everywhere. In fact, you'd probably have more boot room as well. But then again, you might have cured some blindness. You. You. No, instead I'll have my Porsche. So, yeah. It, it's just ridiculous on every possible level. And it it is obvious that what pains Hassan is that, yes, you, you could do this. You don't. You, you obviously don't. It's almost like he's a closeted capitalist, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's just the obvious cope of, like, the reason for my failings in life now, I'll just blame it on capitalism. Is a uh, fucking... Sorry, I'm so sick of it. Go to Keemstar, though, because Keemstar decided to dab on the serfs as well, because the serfs, the... Oh, I hate the serfs. Yeah, the, the actual, like, I, I don't really want to include them because they're, they're pathetic. Uh, mm-hmm. For people who know, I'm not just being mean for the sake of ideological difference. No, I actually really dislike them because in multiple instances, they just lie or... Uh, completely dishonest. They're incapable of steel manning anyone ever, and it's it's mm-hmm. ridiculous. But they put up this tweet where they said, "People honestly praising Mr. Beast yet again. That guy does poverty tourism for cash. If he pays a person's medical bills, lottery style, without informing anyone with his platform that it's effed up, he needs to do that. He's just profiteering off his ability to do so." And Keemstar's like, "Mr. Beast cures a thousand people from blindness, and you still have losers trying to spin a narrative of abuse." Yeah, Keemstar, absolutely right. And um, well. Mr. Beast did respond to them, which is the reason I'm including it. Because we go to that, he's like, bro, I did raise awareness and got tons of people talking. Also, what profits? The average Mr. Beast video loses 100, sorry, 1.5 million last year. I don't make the any The average money. video? Yeah. So he's hemorrhaging his own money. Funnily enough, giving away a Porsche every five seconds is not good for your finances. Is that what he does? I, I don't really know anything about him. In the blindness video, just he occasionally hold the random uh, client who's, who's getting free lace, ace, eye surgery. After the surgery, but like, can you read this message? And he's mm-hmm. like, oh, I can read it now. You've won $10,000. And he goes, there you are. And just give him 10 grand. <laughs> For all of like five seconds of footage. Hey, Mr. Beast. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm secretly blind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me 10 grand. But it's just, I, yeah, funnily enough, I don't think Mr. Beast's model. He even gives someone a new Tesla, some random kid. It is, it's not sustainable, funnily enough. Anyway, move forward because we go to the next one here. Um, if he was doing this... <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, for goodness I, th- sake. I assume this is what people imagine he is doing for the, the blind. Uh, it's a graphic new new video from Mr. Beast. Fake, in case you're wondering. I asked a thousand people to suck my D. If I come, they get $10,000. <laughs> yeah, that would be exploitative. That would be abuse. That would be wrong. <laughs> Why, Callum? Why did you include this? <laughs> well, you know, as they say, Mr. Beast is finally going crazy. <laughs> you know, I'd understand, but no, it's, it's <sighs> not. We go to Mr. Beast, who uh, points out all this as well. He responded with, uh, I don't understand why curable blindness is a thing. Uh, why don't governments step in and help? Even if you're thinking purely from a financial standpoint, it's hard to see how the ROI on taxes from people being able to work again isn't true. That's true sometimes. Sometimes it's not true. Well, I mean, I hate tax, but I, I think that you do have a moral responsibility to help people with a disability. And I'd, I'd happily really put put my tax money towards helping blind people see again. You're a multi-millionaire Hassan, maybe you have... No, whatever. He's mm. not listening. But Mr. Beast did. <laughs> which was like, yeah, maybe I could. And in fact, I could turn screen time into curing blindness as well, which is what his video actually is. Mm. But the iron, the uh, return on investment in taxes, yeah, sometimes true, sometimes not. And, and that's what the British government does with some aspects. Uh, with a lot of it, no. And, uh, well, the full fundamental point for the communists is just, why is it not free? Uh, yeah, funnily enough, it costs money. Uh, Dolan Dark, uh, uh, sorry, we got the next one here, sorry. Mr. Beast also said, Twitter, rich people should help others with their money. Me, okay, I'll use my money to help people. And I even promise to give away all my money before I die. Every single penny. Twitter, Mr. Beast bad. <laughs> Dolan Dark also described the leftist position on this correctly, which is, uh, Mr. Beast, please fix the entire US medical system and dismantle capitalism right now, thanks. <laughs> Embarrassing. Yeah. Without capitalism, we wouldn't be rich. True from Balanced Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> And who that is <laughs> making good points and just to end off in, in case there are communists watching it's like why do things cost money oh here we go if we live in britain the socialist healthcare system glasses still cost money in case you're wondering cataract surgery from optical express still costs money in case you're wondering the nhs still costs money mm. amazingly a lot of money and i don't even use it it's yeah. very frustrating 
Uh, whereas Mr. Beast over here has managed to convert me staring at screen and 50 million other people into curing blindness. The NHS has just stolen my money and then tried to cure blindness with it, which most of the time they don't even. Plenty of blind people in the UK, in case you're wondering. There you are. But there we have it. Mr. Beast doing good things. Left this upset. One more thing to add, though. I should have included it. I did go to, I think it was the um, Bread Tubes, Reddit, subreddit. I'm whatever, sorry right? to hear that. I, one of the posts that was the most upvoted was literally a guy going, guys, we've got to stop essing on Mr. Beast. It's really bad for optics. He's clearly done a good thing. <laughs> And then all the comments just being like, no, he's capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I probably should have included that. Maybe yeah, someone will find it and put it in the comments, but whatever. Just what a joke these people are. Oh, well, well done, Mr. Beast. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast, The Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content on the site, such as the Brokenomics series, the recent episode on gold. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow us on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.